So we've talked about the fact that ecosystems and organisms are sometimes able to adapt to different ecosystems and tend to spread uh, if they, their niche allows them to do so, if they have a fundamental niche that allows them to do so, or if the ecosystem has enough ascendancy to deal with changes that will, that will happen in, the, in, the, if they, in new environments. But a lot of times there's disturbances which mess with these ecosystems. Now remember that within disturbances happened, the sur how well these ecosystems survive will depend on how, sh how much diversity exists in the ecosystem. If you have a lot of diversity within a population, the likelihood that someone has what it takes to survive is very high. Likewise, if you have a lot of diversity in the ecosystem, the likelihood of its, a part of it surviving when a disturbance happens is higher. Right? So remember that. But ecosystems do the best they can to maintain stability. And the greater the amount of diversity it is, the more stable these ecosystems will be and the better they will be at coping with changes that occur. But sometimes disturbances will be very massive. Things like habitat destruction by humans with logging, the growth of cities, or, which is urbanization, deforestation, pollution. All of these things will damage the ecosystem. But there's also natural causes like disease, pathogenics that spreads, global warming, forest fires, volcanic eruptions, floods, earthquakes, landslides, natural disasters, lots of reasons while ecosystems will be under pressure and have to cope with the changes that have, have to do. So, but remember that these changes can be natural or will be called anthropogenic, or anthropogenic, that means caused by humans, human-made disturbances. But habitats are going to be better suited to deal with these disturbances if they have a greater amount of diversity, all right? So, on the next video, we're going to talk about habitat disturbances and also about how habitats evolve and begin in the first place in the concept of ecological succession to finish up our next series on ecosystems. I'll see you guys then.